everybody! Welcome back to day two of our sew along. Today we're going to start sewing our first pair of windy knickers and to make it easy on everybody I'm just going to do the very basic first pair. So the first pair today will be option A with standard waistband and also just standard leg bands in the regular length. So um, I know there's already been a couple of comments about the, the leg bands being kind of loose, more loose than they want, and that's completely fine. There's a firm option for the, the leg bands as well, so maybe look at that option if you're worried about it being not, not being tight enough. Um, so today I've got, my, um, I've got my fabric all cut out, it's just a very basic pair um, of bamboo lycra undies, and I'm going to use my overlocker. And when I'm finished, I will also top stitch. So I'll go through all the steps on the overlocker, and then at the end, we'll tidy it up, and then we'll come back and we'll do the sewing machine. All right, thanks. Okay, so I just use a standard gray thread. I have my woolly nylon. I have, which it just got caught on my hand. Um, I have my woolly nylon. I have my standard. Um, plain poly thread in my needles because I find that I like that combination better um, and I just use grey as a neutral colour. Um, you can use whatever you want but when it's just us I don't worry about colour matching my thread. <laughs> so I've got it clipped, this is the back of the gusset. Now you may look at that and say I want the right side showing on both sides so there you go. Now we want to make sure that these sides are wrong side together. So don't get too confused when you're doing the gusset because you don't want the front to be inside out. So lay it flat, clip it. Also guys, I'm using bamboo lycra. It's quite a lot more slippery than cotton lycra, so just be aware of clipping really helps that bamboo lycra. Okay, so if I unfold that clip after I've clipped you see it's all going the right way so double check that before you sew because you don't want to have to get your uh, seam ripper out and unpick so we're going to lay our back side right side up we're going to take our front side and we're going to clip the sides together And now we're going to sew these side seams. Hopefully you can see that. We're going to sew those. And then we'll start on our bands and we're nearly finished. Okay, so our bands. So, like I said, I just did the basic leg band. And um, this is actually the um, standard rise, but it's the contoured, contoured waistband. Um, because I wanted to give that one a try first and see how we go. So, um, you got, you've got the two leg bands and the waistband. So we're going to put those right sides together. Right sides together and we're going to sew those. All of our bands are together. So there's one, two, three. Um, one of the things we should do with this is we should make our quarter markings. So if you have one, um, just a water erasable marker will do, or chalk, or any other kind of fabric pen that um, is washable or air dries. Um, so you mark your quarter points. So there's one each, those are seams. 
Then you take your seams and you go other way. It also helps if you fold one seam one direction and the other seam the other direction and you mark where the seam lines up. And then you've got one quarter point here. So I'm just going to make a little mark. And then again, make sure our seams are all lined up. And one quarter point here. Okay. So we have a quarter point, one there, one there, one here, and one here. Okay, that'll help us when we put our bands on so the bands fit right. Then we have our other seams. So it's trickier to get a leg seam quarter point just because it's an odd shaped seam. So match it up best as you can. Now to do our quarter points for our band. What I find easier for doing quarter points on bands is just clipping them. So we have one quarter point. I just find it faster. Um, but if you're not confident with that, then definitely mark your quarter points just in case. Um, so go through and find, start with your seam is one, and then halfway down from your seam. So if you kind of lay it nicely and get a halfway. There's two, then you put those two together evenly, make sure everything's turned around right. And there's quarter points on all of those. So I'll do the same thing again with each of my bands. So quarter all of your bands. Okay, so you can do it on any of the seams or any of the, the marks really if you wanted. But I'm gonna do it with the seam and then match up my quarter marking. I like to start and finish near a seam. So, going to line it all up nice and tidy. I'm going to move that out of the way. You can trim off these that are in the way if it's in the way of your vision. Um, Alright, so there's one band. It's all nice and tidy. Both gusset seams are pushed out instead of pushed in, and that'll just make it more comfortable if you're using the overlocker instead of the burrito method. Um, this thread here that's along the seam, I'll come back in with my needle and I'll thread it back through so that, that way it's nice and tidy. Now we finish the other sides. Okay, so for the waistband, you have your back seam, and that goes to the back, and the front seam, which goes to the front. And you want to make sure that you, you put those there, because especially if you're doing the contour and everything else, that's just how it goes. So, 
Got my mark. All right, so our underwear are looking very finished. Nick is there. So um, what we are going to do is you can top stitch. So I'll show you top stitching them. Um, and also before we do that, we're going to flip it right side inside out again. And we're going to take, you can use, um, it's a, a yarn darning needle. Take it and you just where you've stopped, you take it and you very gently thread it back through. And then you'll notice that it's kind of made my seam bunch or gather. You just stretch it so that it's nice and in there. And then try. All right, so now we're ready to top stitch as needed. So top stitching is optional. And so I'll show you an example of top stitching. I'll just move over to my other machine. Okay. So we have our twin needle and we've got everything threaded. I've extended my stitch length. So it's just a plain straight stitch is all you need when you're using a twin needle. Um, but I've extended my stitch length to 3.5 millimeters um, and that helps with knits. So we're going to... I'll start close. My seam is flipped under and that will make it nice and tidy and easy to top stitch. So make sure it's flipped under. Alright, so we're done. I'm going to give it a press and that's it. Alright guys, so that's all for our day two sew along. We've completed an entire pair, just a basic pair. Um, but the rest of the week we'll be working on some fold over elastic and some color block blocking options. And um, anything else that you have questions about, feel free to comment below. And I'll do my best to answer all the questions. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys, see you tomorrow.